a king in the making, Prince William and his role in the coronation. Welcome to our documentary on a king in the making, Prince William and his role in the coronation. In this film, we will take a closer look at the life and career of Prince William, the Duke of Cambridge, and his journey towards becoming a future king of the United Kingdom and the Commonwealth realms. From his early years as a member of the royal family to his education and military service, from his engagement and marriage to Kate Middleton to his work as a philanthropist and his vision for the future. We will explore the key moments and milestones that have shaped Prince William's life and career so far. But perhaps most importantly, we will focus on his role in the recent coronation of his father, King Charles III, and what this momentous event means for his own future as a leader of the British monarchy. Join us as we embark on a journey into the world of Prince William and discover the qualities and characteristics that make him a true king in the making. The Early Years of Prince William An Introduction My brother and I were lucky enough to grow up supported by the love and nurturing of our family. They saw to our education, our health, our well-being and every other need. Prince William, the Duke of Cambridge, was born on June 21, 1982 at St. Mary's Hospital in London. He is the eldest son of Prince Charles, the Prince of Wales, and the latest Princess Diana. William is second in line to the throne after his father and is said to become King of the United Kingdom and the Commonwealth realms in the future. Growing up, Prince William lived a relatively normal life compared to other royal children. He attended school like any other child, but with the added pressure of being a member of the royal family. William attended nursery school in Notting Hill, London, before starting at Weatherby School, where he was often photographed with his mother, Princess Diana. In 1995, at the age of 13, Prince William began attending Eton College, one of the most prestigious schools in the United Kingdom. Eton is a boarding school and William lived there during term time. Returning home to Kensington Palace during the holidays, William excelled academically and played sports, particularly football and water polo. Prince William's teenage years were also marked by tragedy. In 1997, his mother, Princess Diana, was killed in a car accident in Paris. William was just 15 years old at the time and had to deal with the loss of his mother in the public eye. In the years that followed, William and his younger brother, Prince Harry, became known for their charitable work and their efforts to continue their mother's legacy. After completing his studies at Eton, Prince William took a gap year before starting at the University of St. Andrews in Scotland in 2001. It was at St. Andrews that William met his future wife, Kate Middleton, who was also studying there. William studied art history and geography at university and it was during this time that he began to receive more attention from the media as the heir to the throne. In 2003, Prince William took a break from his studies and joined the British Army, attending the Royal Military Academy Sandhurst. He completed his officer training in 2006 and was commissioned as a second lieutenant in the Household Cavalry. William went on to serve in the British Army for several years, including a deployment to Afghanistan in 2008 as a member of the Army Air Corps. In 2011, Prince William married Kate Middleton in a ceremony at Westminster Abbey. The wedding was watched by millions of people around the world and was seen as a moment of celebration for the royal family after the difficult years following Princess Diana's death. William and Kate have three children together, Prince George, Princess Charlotte, and Prince Louis. Throughout his life, Prince William has been dedicated to charitable work and is focused on issues such as mental health, conservation, and homelessness. In 2009, he and his brother Prince Harry founded the Royal Foundation, which supports charitable initiatives in the United Kingdom and around the world. William has also been involved in many other charities including the Invictus Games Foundation and the Tusk Trust. As the future King of the United Kingdom and the Commonwealth realms, 
Prince William's early years have been marked by a sense of duty and service. He has shown a commitment to public service, and his work as a philanthropist has given him a platform to make a difference in the world. As he prepares to take on more responsibilities in the future, it is clear that Prince William is a king in the making. With a strong sense of purpose and a deep understanding of the importance of his role in the British monarchy. William's relationship with his grandmother and her legacy. William, William. Thank you so much. Queen Elizabeth's close bond with William and Harry was never more evident than when they lost their mother, Princess Diana. Reportedly, she told her staff to let the brothers, who were only 15 and 12, sleep in before their father broke the heartbreaking news to them. Queen Elizabeth II has been a significant figure in Prince William's life since his birth. She is not only his grandmother, but also the head of the British monarchy and one of the longest reigning monarchs in history. Over the years, William has had a close relationship with his grandmother and has been inspired by her legacy of service and dedication to duty. At the time, you know, my grandmother wanted to protect you know, her two grandsons and my father as well. Our grandmother deliberately removed the newspapers and things like that, so there was nothing in the house at all, so we, we didn't know what was going on. We had the privacy to mourn. William's relationship with his grandmother began from an early age and he has often spoken fondly of her in a 2016 documentary celebrating the Queen's 90th birthday. William described her as an incredible role model and praised her for her ability to balance her public and private lives. He also spoke of her sense of humor and her love for her family. The Queen has played an important role in William's life both as a family member and as a mentor. She has been a constant presence in his life, attending many of his important milestones, including his graduation from Sandhurst and his wedding to Kate Middleton. William has also accompanied the Queen on many official engagements, both in the United Kingdom and abroad, and has learned from her example of service to others. One of the most significant ways in which the Queen has influenced William is through her legacy of public service. Throughout her reign, the Queen has shown a strong commitment to her duties as monarch, traveling extensively and meeting with people from all walks of life. She has also been involved in many charitable organizations and has used her position to raise awareness of important social issues. William has followed in his grandmother's footsteps by focusing on charitable work and public service. He and his brother, Prince Harry, have carried on their mother's legacy of humanitarian work, founding the Royal Foundation to support causes such as mental health, conservation, and veterans' welfare. William has also been involved in many other charities, including Centerpoint, which supports homeless young people, and the Diana Award, which recognizes young people who make a positive difference in their communities. The Queen's dedication to duty has also inspired William to take on a more significant role in the British monarchy. As second in line to the throne, William has been preparing for his future role as king by undertaking a range of royal duties, including representing the Queen at official engagements and carrying out visits both in the United Kingdom and abroad. He has also been involved in the planning for the transition of the monarchy from the Queen to his father, Prince Charles. The Queen's legacy will continue to be an important influence on Prince William as he prepares for his future role as King. Her dedication to service, her sense of duty, and her commitment to her family are all qualities that William has inherited and will continue to embody as he takes on more responsibilities in the years to come. Preparing for the Future William's education and military service. During Prince William has had a unique upbringing, being born into the British royal, royal family Prince and William being the future Arthur, king Philip of the United Louis Kingdom. Windsor, Despite his royal status, William has been determined to lead a normal a life. Turn, wow. And education and military service have been an essential part of his journey to prepare for his future role.
education has always been a priority of Prince William, and he has received an excellent education throughout his life. He started his formal education at Mrs. Jane Minner's Nursery School in London, and later attended Weatherby School and Lodgerove School. In 1995, he enrolled at Eton College, one of the most prestigious schools in the UK, where he studied geography, biology, and history of art. After completing his studies at Eton, William took a gap year, during which he traveled to Chile, Africa, and Europe. He also spent time working on a dairy farm in Gloucestershire and teaching English in Nepal. In 2001, he enrolled at the University of St. Andrews in Scotland, where he studied art history and graduated with a 2 is to 1 degree. William's education has been an essential part of his preparation for his future role as king. His studies have given him a broad knowledge base, including an understanding of history, art, and politics, which will be essential for his future duties as the head of state. Additionally, his gap year in travels have given him a broader perspective and an appreciation of different cultures and lifestyles. In addition to his education, Prince William has also served in the military, which has been an essential part of his preparation for his future role. In 2006, he joined the Royal Military Academy Sandhurst and underwent training to become an army officer. After completing his training, he has commissioned as a second lieutenant in the Blues and Royals, a regiment of the British Army. In 2008, William embarked on a tour of duty in Afghanistan serving as a helicopter pilot with the Royal Air Force. During his tour, he has involved in many missions, including search and rescue operations and medical evacuations. His military service has given him a deep understanding of the sacrifices made by members of the armed forces, and he has been a strong advocate for veterans' welfare. William's military service has also been an essential part of his preparation for his future role as king. As a future head of the armed forces, he will be responsible for the welfare of the military, and his experience as an army officer and helicopter pilot will give him a unique perspective on the challenges faced by the armed forces. The Royal Engagement and Wedding of William and Kate It was Prince William and Catherine Middleton's big day, April the 29th, 2011. The day royal fans had been eagerly awaiting. The engagement and wedding of Prince William and Catherine Middleton, now known as the Duke and Duchess of Cambridge, was one of the most highly anticipated events in recent royal history. Their love story captured the hearts of people all over the world, and their wedding was watched by millions. William and Kate first met in 2001. While studying at the University of St. Andrews in Scotland, they became friends and their relationship slowly developed over time. However, their romance was not confirmed until 2004 when they were photographed skiing together in Switzerland. From that moment on, their relationship was under intense media scrutiny. On November 16, 2010, Clarence House announced the engagement of Prince William and Kate Middleton. The engagement was not a surprise, as rumors of an impending engagement had been circulating for months. The announcement came after William proposed to Kate while on holiday in Kenya, using a ring that belonged to his late mother, Princess Diana. The engagement was celebrated across the UK and around the world, with many people excited to see the future King of England and his bride-to-be. The media frenzy surrounding the engagement was intense, with photographers and reporters following William and Kate's every move. We've got a few questions. Um, Peter from BBC, first of all. Please. Mr. William, Catherine, congratulations. There was a slight delay in coming in, so we're worried you might change your mind. Um, first of all, Catherine, can you tell us how Prince William has proposed to you, and can you spare us in detail? The wedding of Prince William and Kate Middleton took place on April 29, 2011, at Westminster Abbey in London. The ceremony was watched by millions of people worldwide, with an estimated 2 billion viewers tuning in to watch the event on television. Kate arrived at the ceremony in a Rolls-Royce Phantom 6, 
wearing a stunning Alexander McQueen dress designed by Sarah Burton. The dress featured intricate lace details and a train that was almost 9 feet long. Her bridal bouquet included Lily of the Valley, Sweet William, Hyacinth, and Myrtle. The wedding ceremony was a traditional Church of England service, led by the Archbishop of Canterbury. The couple exchanged vows and rings, and Kate was given a wedding band made of Welsh gold. After the ceremony, the newlyweds took a carriage procession through the streets of London, waving to the crowds that had gathered to catch a glimpse of them. The wedding reception is held at Buckingham Palace, hosted by Queen Elizabeth II. The newlyweds appeared on the balcony of the palace, where they shared a kiss in front of the crowds below. The royal engagement and wedding of Prince William and Kate were not just a celebration of their love, but also a celebration of the British monarchy. The event was watched by millions of people worldwide who were captivated by the glamour, tradition, and romance of the royal family. In the years since their wedding, Prince William and Kate Middleton have become beloved figures in the UK and around the world. They have two children, Prince George and Prince Charlotte, and welcomed their third child, Prince Louis, in 2018. Their wedding was a momentous occasion in royal history and it cemented their place in the hearts of people all over the world. The Duke and Duchess of Cambridge have continued to carry out their royal duties with grace and dedication, and they are seen as the future of the British monarchy. The Changing Role of the British Monarchy A moment in history. King Charles III, accompanied by Queen Camilla, emerging onto the famed balcony of Buckingham Palace. Getting a moment that will stay with them for the rest of their lives. This is the dawning of a new era. Those opulent crowns, heavy not just with precious gemstones, but also the extraordinary weight of expectation. The British monarchy has undergone significant changes over the past few decades with a shift towards a more modern and accessible royal family. While the role of the monarchy remains an important part of British culture and history, it has evolved to reflect the changing needs and expectations of the society. One of the most significant changes to the monarchy in recent years has been the role of the Queen herself. Queen Elizabeth II has been a constant figurehead for the British people for over 70 years and her reign has seen a significant shift towards a more open and accessible monarchy. The Queen has embraced modern technology and social media and has become more involved in public events and celebrations. She has also become a more active participant in foreign diplomacy, traveling extensively and meeting with heads of state from around the world. The younger members of the royal family have also played a significant role in the changing phase of the monarchy. Prince Charles, the heir to the throne, has long been an advocate for environmental and social causes. His charity work and dedication to sustainable agriculture have helped to modernize the image of the monarchy and have helped to build a more positive relationship between the royal family and the British public. Prince William and Kate Middleton, now known as the Duke and Duchess of Cambridge, have also been key players in the modernization of the monarchy. They have been open about their struggles with mental health and have been active supporters of various charities and causes. They have also made a concerted effort to raise their children in a more normal and down-to-earth way, eschewing some of the traditional royal trappings in favor of a more modern family life. Prince Harry and Meghan Markle, the Duke and Duchess of Sussex, have also played a role in the changing phase of monarchy. Their wedding in 2018 was a departure from tradition with a focus on diversity and inclusivity. Meghan, who is of mixed race, has been a vocal advocate for racial and gender equality and has been open about her struggles with mental health and the pressures of being a member of the royal family. Harry, meanwhile, has been an advocate for veterans and mental health causes and has sought to use his platform to make a positive impact on the world. 
William's work as a philanthropist and his vision for the future. Prince William, Duke of Cambridge, has long been involved in philanthropic work using his position to raise awareness of important issues and to make a positive impact on the world. His charitable work spans a range of causes, including mental health, conservation, and homelessness, and he has been a vocal advocate for social and environmental justice. One of William's key philanthropic endeavors is his work in the field of mental health. Alongside his wife, Catherine, he founded Heads Together, a charity that seeks to reduce the stigma surrounding mental health and provide support to those who are struggling. The charity has launched several initiatives, including a series of mental health films featuring well-known celebrities and a mental health tech support service. William has been open about his own struggles with mental health, speaking publicly about the grief he experienced after the death of his mother, Princess Diana, and the impact it had on his mental health. I think, and I, I've, I've thought about this a lot and I've tried to understand why I feel like I do, but I think when you are bereaved at a very young age, any time really, but particularly at a young age, I can, I can resonate closely to that, you feel pain like no other pain. And you know that in your life, it's going to be very difficult to come across something that's going to be even worse pain than that. But it also brings you so close to all those other people out there who have been bereaved. So you instantly, when you talk to someone else, you can almost see it in their eyes sometimes. It's a weird thing to say, but I can, you know, somebody's, particularly me, someone's desperate to talk about bereavement, you can kind of pick up on it quite quick. You can see it, can you? Yeah, they want to talk about it, but they want you to go first. They want you to say it's okay. You know, they want to have your permission that in that particular conversation one-on-one, -on -one, it's okay to talk about bereavement. Because I think particularly in Britain as well, we are nervous about our emotions. We're a bit embarrassed sometimes. You know, the British stiff upper lip thing, yeah, that's, that's great. And we need to have that occasionally when times are really hard. That, there has to be a moment for that. But otherwise, we've got to relax a little bit and be able to talk about our emotions because we're not robots. William has also been a strong advocate for conservation and the environment. He is a patron of several environmental charities, including Tusk Trust and the African Wildlife Foundation, and has been involved in efforts to protect endangered species and their habitats. He has also been a vocal proponent of sustainable agriculture and has spoken out about the importance of reducing food waste and promoting environmentally friendly farming practices. In addition to his work in mental health and conservation, William has been involved in several other philanthropic endeavors. He has supported several charities focused on homelessness, including Centerpoint, a charity that provides support to young people who are experiencing homelessness. He has also been a patron of the Royal Marsden NHS Foundation Trust, a hospital specializing in cancer treatment and research. William's vision for the future is one that emphasizes the importance of community and social responsibility. He has spoken about the need to break down barriers and promote inclusivity and has emphasized the role that technology can play in connecting people and fostering a sense of community. He has also called for greater attention to be paid to the needs of young people, particularly in the areas of mental health and education. In 2019, William launched the Earthshot Prize, a global initiative that seeks to reward individuals and organizations for their efforts to tackle some of the world's biggest environmental challenges. The prize will award £50 million over the next decade to those who are working to find solutions to issues such as climate change, biodiversity loss, and air pollution. The goal of the prize is to inspire and support innovative ideas and solutions that can help to create a more sustainable and equitable future for all. William's role in the coronation and his duties as future king. I, William, Prince of Wales, pledge my loyalty to you and faith and truth I will bear unto you as your liege man of life and limb. So help me God. As the second in line to the British throne, Prince William played a significant role in the coronation of his father, King Charles III. 
He had been preparing for this moment for many years, taking on more public duties and responsibilities as he has grown older and gaining valuable experience in his role as a senior member of the royal family. William's role in the coronation was primarily ceremonial, but it was nonetheless an important symbol of his future as a leader of the British monarchy. He walked alongside his father during the procession through the streets of London, wearing the traditional uniform of a senior military officer and carrying his own ceremonial sword. During the coronation ceremony itself, Prince William was one of the first to pay homage to the new king, kneeling before his father and kissing his hand in a gesture of respect and loyalty. He also took part in the anointing of the king with holy oil, symbolizing the sacred nature of the monarch's role as the defender of the faith. In addition to his ceremonial duties, Prince William has also been preparing for his future role as king by taking on a wide range of public duties and responsibilities. He has represented the monarchy at countless events and engagements, both in the UK and around the world, and has developed a reputation for his dedication and commitment to public service. As a future king, Prince William's duties will be extensive and varied. He will be expected to represent the British monarchy and its values on a global stage, acting as a figurehead for the country and its people. He will also be responsible for supporting the work of the government and the armed forces, and for promoting important causes and issues that are close to his heart. One area where Prince William has already made a significant impact is in the field of mental health. He has been a vocal advocate for better mental health care and awareness, using his position to help break down the stigma surrounding mental illness and to encourage people to seek help when they need it. Another area where Prince William is likely to focus his attention as a future king is the environment. He has long been passionate about conservation and sustainability and has spoken out about the urgent need to address climate change and protect the natural world for future generations. In addition to these specific areas of focus, Prince William will also be responsible for upholding the traditions and institutions of the monarchy, ensuring that they continue to evolve and adapt to the changing needs of society. He will be expected to act with dignity and decorum while also being approachable and relatable to the people he serves. As he continues to prepare for his eventual role as king, Prince William will undoubtedly face many challenges and obstacles. But with his dedication, commitment, and compassion, he is well equipped to lead the British monarchy into a new era, building upon the legacy of those who have come before him and shaping the future of the country and its people in his own unique way. We hope that this documentary has provided you with a deeper understanding of Prince William and his role in the British monarchy, as well as the recent coronation of King Charles III, from his early years as a member of the royal family to his work as a philanthropist and his duties as a future king, Prince William has shown himself to be a dedicated and compassionate leader who is committed to making a positive difference in the world. We invite you to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel to stay updated on future documentaries and videos related to the royal family and other important topics. Your support helps us continue to create informative and engaging content that educates and inspires. Thank you for watching and we hope to see you again soon.